welcome to another episode of VPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflam. I'm Chris Costa. Chris, what would you like to discuss today? Well, I understand there were some new enhancements with coil and wire row binding. If we could take a look at what those might be. Sure. Uh, we do have a couple of enhancements. We've added an enhancement in post-press processes where you can um, have a material category on the material section. You know how you can add a material to a post-press process. Well, now instead of a material, you can do a category. So it just mm -hmm. brings that category up immediately. Um, Plus, we've also added a feature where um, you can put a spine thickness in on a material, mm -hmm. uh, a maximum spine thickness, so that you can control what materials will show up based on the thickness of the book. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Can we take a look at some of the setup for that? Sure. Let's first take a look at uh, the uh, an item in um, the an example in estimating. So, and then we'll take a look at the setup. So, I'm going to uh, edit this coil binding example. And we'll edit the component. Well, before I edit the component, let's first notice here the spine thickness of this book is um, 0.14. So it's less than a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to edit the component. And I'm going to go over to Processes. And I'm going to go to Post Press. And I'm going to highlight my coil binding process that I've already pulled in. And we'll edit that process. And we'll add the material. When I click on the drop down for the material, Notice how it goes directly to the coil binding material category, and it's bringing in all of the coil binding processes, uh, excuse me, materials that can fit for this book. So I have my quarter inch, my half inch, and my one inch. Now if I cancel out of here, and let's go make this a thicker book. So now I'm going to make this uh, 12 signature, 12 16 page signatures. Now when I go over to processes, and I select coil binding and I edit it and I click add and I click on the drop down for the material code again it goes to my coil binding but now I only have the half inch and the one inch it dropped off the quarter because mm -hmm. now my book is bigger than a quarter of an inch right okay okay good so let's take a look at how to set that up sure perfect okay, okay. so I'm going to cancel out of here and we will go into the standards module and what you want to do is in your post press process, so let me find my coil binding process here. I'm going to hit the modify button. And under the materials cut table, we've added this new default material category here where you can put in the default category. And that's what it will, it's just a default, but it will go right to that category and mm -hmm. then show the items for that category. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at the item. I go into materials and we'll go into standard items. We'll go into our coil binding items. And each, each one of these items you'll see that I can put in that maximum spine thickness. And uh, that's what's going to drive whether the um, item shows up or not. If the spine thickness is uh, bigger than that maximum spine thickness, it won't show up. Okay. okay. And that weight per 100 feet, what would that be used for? Well, um, that has to do with how you uh, want to cost the item. So you can see in this item here, um, I'm using a per linear inch costing method and I'm charging per linear inch for the coil binding. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I want to charge by uh, the pound. I've got this one set up by, uh, with a pound calculation. Uh, oh, wrong one. Let me find the one that I have. Okay, so let's take a look at one that I have set up by per pound. So if I modify that, you see I have a weight per 100 pound, and I just put in a pound, or 100 feet, excuse me. I put that this, 100 feet of this coil binding is one pound. And you can use the per 100 weight costing method. So these will work together, mm -hmm. but then you put the price in here for 100 feet. Now what I can do is we'll pull that particular um, material in this job. So I'll click on add here. I'll click on the drop down. I'll grab my one inch coil color. Uh, one other thing it also does that we didn't mention is um, it is looking at the length here based off of the final length of the product. So in my layout here, my final length is 11 inches mm -hmm. and it will always take the final length and add an inch to it. That's another part of this uh, new feature. Okay. But now it knows the length of e the coil it needs for each item. Mm -hmm. And then it will take that length and say, okay, um, if I take 100 feet of it, it knows um, 
how much e that 100 feet is going to weigh. So it knows how many feet it needs for the whole job. It divides yeah. that by 100, and now it knows how many sets of 100 feet it needs. Mm -hmm. And then it can multiply that by your unit cost and get your price for the uh, by weight. Okay. Okay? All right. So let's hit the calculate button, or let's uh, make sure I have the material in here, which I do. Then we'll hit the calculate button, and we can see how that uh, costs. So now it's saying I've got uh, a thousand pieces and they're 12 uh, a foot long each. So I'm going to need uh, 10, a uh, hundred feet, if you, if you will, um, blocks mm. of a hundred feet. I have them set up at four dollars and fifty-five cents each. So it's calculating the forty-five dollars. Okay. So that's just another way to cost it, if you'd like. Sure. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Um, now you mentioned earlier about a material category selection. Is it possible that could be used for anything? Another post press process? Sure. I mean, that feature was added for coil binding, but it really could be used for anything because, you know, if you have a boxing process and you want it to go right to the uh, category of boxes or a laminating process and you want it to go right to a category for laminating material mm -hmm. or shrink wrapping or anything like that, you could use it for that okay. as well. All right. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Well, that was great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward for more to come.